Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Here in London today, Honor is announcing a new smartphone series, the Honor 20, and they're calling it their flagship line of devices. And the most premium of that trio is this phone. This is our Honor 20 unboxing and hands-on. All right, this is the Honor 20 Pro. Standard box, so this should be pretty straightforward. Let's lift up this lid. First things first is the phone. It's still wrapped, but you can already see if we flip it around, this unique pattern is one of a kind. We'll take a closer look later. Next up is this packet with a SIM card ejector tool. And nope, looks like there's no case inside. Also in the box, USB-C cable, USB-C to headphone jack adapter, and a 22.5 watt supercharged USB charging brick. All right, let's take a look at the phone. Wow, that glass is really stunning. To make this possible, Honor says multiple layers of glass and color were combined to create this holographic effect. They're calling it dynamic holographic design, and it's unlike anything we've seen. Honor says quality control was so strict that only 20 out of every glass vax made passed the standard. Honor says there's also going to be a special edition Honor 20 designed by luxury brand Moschino, complete with a Moschino theme, case, and even a purse for the phone. Now that sounds like a fun unboxing, but we're getting sidetracked. So let's go ahead and power up the phone. And while we're at it, roll spec sheet. Okay, let's set up some of the biometrics. The fingerprint sensor on the Honor 20 Pro is on the right-hand side of the device, just under the volume rocker. I'm actually a fan of this placement. It makes sense based on how you would hold a smartphone. Let's go ahead and set it up here. You can also use the front camera for face recognition. Let's set it up. All right, facial data captured. Once set up, you can also dive into wake screen settings and tick pick to wake so that all it takes to unlock your phone is a quick raise. The Honor 20 Pro runs Magic OS and Android 9 Pie. It looks like this, and it's basically Huawei's standard EMUI skin. The Honor 20 Pro has a screen that's just over six inches, but in the hand, it doesn't feel large at all. It's all display, well, almost. There's a punch hole over here on the left-hand side of the phone. And in case you're thinking you've seen this before. Honor was actually the first manufacturer to employ the hole punch. It was first seen on the View 20 in January of this year. There's an earpiece up here hidden on the phone's forehead. And while we're looking, there's also an IR blaster on the bottom of the device, microphone, USB-C port, and speaker grills. And on the left, dual nano SIM card tray. There are no provisions for extra storage, but you might not need it. Our review device comes with 256 gigabytes of internal memory. The Honor 20 Pro has a total of four cameras, two of which are optically stabilized. The main lens has the largest aperture we've seen on a phone. This means the ability to let in more light and produce a shallower depth of field. On top of that is a feature called AIS Super Night Mode that detects if you're using a tripod or if the phone is handheld, then it picks the right settings. Here, you be the judge. What do you think of these low light shots? Like many other flagship phones this year, there is a zoom lens and an ultra wide angle lens. So you can go from this to this to this, or this to this to this. There's also a macro camera, just switch to macro mode and camera settings, and you can get tighter on subjects, but at a lower resolution. Want more? Here are some other photos that I shot in London using the new Honor 20 Pro.
Now, before I go, I feel like I need to address the news concerning Google's restricting Huawei's access to Android, as well as its suite of apps and services following a US trade ban. Now, representatives from Huawei and Honor tell me the Honor 20 Pro or the Honor 20 series is Google certified and will not be affected by these changes. Of course, for now, it still remains to be seen about what the future of Huawei and Honor smartphones will be like. We can only hope that all of this will be resolved in due time. In the UK, the Honor 20 Pro retails for 550 British pounds, while the Honor 20, which we didn't cover in this video, will retail for 400. Pricing and availability will differ from market to market. And that was our Honor 20 Pro unboxing and hands-on. For more videos like this one, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. For all the behind-the-scenes fun stuff, including tweets and Instagram posts from today's event, make sure to follow us on social media. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. We'll be posting a full review on our website real soon. Until the next one, from here in London, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.